Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. With the relaxation of COVID-19 measures, tourism stakeholders are breathing a sigh of relief. Our reporter Vashon Brown has been monitoring the situation out west. Vashon. Thanks, Herman. Now, like the rest of the island, the entertainment sector in western Jamaica took a big hit when the island recorded its first case of COVID-19 in March last year. Now, entertainment is particularly important out west because of its relationship with entertainment. So it's no surprise that tourism interests in Montego Bay are celebrating the reopening of the sector. Better days have been returning to the tourism sector in Montego Bay, St. James. The COVID-19 pandemic resulted in billions of dollars in losses, massive layoffs and the closure of some entertainment attractions. Things started to look better for hoteliers in particular when the tourism sector reopened roughly a year ago. And now, more joy with the reopening of yet another sector, entertainment. Tourism and entertainment have always worked very closely together. You know, Jamaica is a, a, a destination more than just a beach. So persons come and they want to go to, you know, um, to just see what Jamaica is all about. And with these um, added hours, we hope now that restaurants and, um, you know, some places of entertainment can open and open successfully. Margaritaville is one of the popular entertainment spots out west. Its vice president of operations, Alton Thelwell, says the company is ready to capitalize on the extra hours. We are saying that if you're coming in for Margaritaville, especially on Thursday night, where we are going to have good vibes happening. But the idea of a high top table, bottle service, um, people in their own area is what we want to focus on and just give people a good time and have a good vibes. But again, for us, the protocol is just essential to what we do. These barbers say they have been hit hard by the months of COVID-19 restrictions. And with events expected to take place all over the parish in the coming weeks, they're hoping for more customers. It, it really put a lot of holes in our pocket so now we can, we can mend those holes, you know. Work without play is no life. And I guess the little time when I get a dust, we look closely in work and then home. But now that the curfew has gone up a little bit now, then we can't get a minute for play. I mean, I talk about if you go leg on the street like beasts. But like me say, you know, time for family and friends. But some people are against this July 1 reopening. They've argued that the Delta variant is of serious concern, spreading rapidly in other countries. In the UK, for example, it accounts for more than 90% of new cases. If we can ensure that we, 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 we operate safely, then these variants can be held at bay or, you know, mitigate some of, the, some of them, you know, but we can't operate closed forever. And so, a word to business operators, follow the protocols. Now, before today, at this hour, people would be rushing to go home to prepare for the 9 p.m. curfew and businesses would be getting ready to close their doors. Now, the revised measures mean that there's more time for nighttime activities. I journeyed to Negril Westmoreland today, where some preparations have started for events. It's not quite ready for tomorrow's party, but operators of the Pirates Dock in Negril say this is where they will have their first event. We have a live DJ coming in. So it's like eat, drink, eat, drink and party. Have fun. It is important because we depend on tourists. So if the entertainment sector is shut down, you know, a lot of tourists come here to enjoy themselves and come out, have a little fun and stuff. Some business operators in Negril say they have been able to re-engage staff members who lost their jobs due to the closure of the entertainment sector. Westmoreland in particular is also famous for bike taxis. The bike taxi operators say it's simple maths. Like people that um, come from event, I go use the bike taxi and hotel workers come from work, then call me on my phone and we pick them up. Operators of public passenger vehicles are also looking to capitalize on the increased movement. Nigel is the party capital for Jamaica. So certainly people are going to welcome partying opportunity in Nigel. Yeah, man. And as a taxi man, you're going to benefit from all the partying things there now. Passing that they take taxi go party. Because every party, no matter how sophisticated the party is, local people go there in a Negro. And local people take local taxi. Just hope that we don't have a, a spikes. Mm -hmm. That, you know, that the country have a shut down now. Because a lot of people sit down all along not doing anything and nothing not going on for them. So it kind of helps a lot of people still. 
and I know it will help some people. As for pan chicken vendors, or people can come and dine, you know, we don't have to rush to go home at a certain time. And dinner service is actually supposed to be at 8 o'clock, so more time can be spent to eat and to properly digest your food and without in a hurry to go home. To so feel more comfortable, that's what can make get a little extra hours, can make a little extra money, you know, I know the kids them need some food, you know. And it, you know, good for the little towards them coming out. I'm getting them like a chicken that hours, you know. Despite some concerns about the relaxation of the COVID-19 measures, operator of Matthews in Negril, Matthew Wallace, says the easing of restrictions is a step in the right direction. Most people have been reopened, um, trying to recover from the pandemic. Uh, some of us will just be reopening our business uh, in an attempt to recover. Uh, so I know that business people as well as individuals here in the grill um, are very excited about the the curfew hours um, and the other the reopening of the sectors reporting from Antigua Bay St. James I'm Vashan Brown for TVJ News it's back to you in studio all right thanks Vashan